Another vendor at the health fair, and you are? Trisha Harney from Hospice of Michigan. Okay, and Hospice of Michigan, that's a statewide activity then? We are. We're in 55 counties um, below the bridge. We're actually Michigan's very first hospice. We pioneered oh. hospice in the state, and we're the second oldest in the entire country. We service about 900 patients a day, including the Muskegon County. We're up here on Apple Avenue. Okay, okay. And what do we have here in hand? Yep. Hospice of Michigan um, has a couple of specialties. One is a uh, hospice for veterans called We Honor Veterans, We Honor Vets. And uh, another differentiator is that we specialize in pediatric patients. We're one of the few dedicated teams in the country, actually. And this little uh, case, DVD case I'm holding, is our Except for Six uh, DVD. It is a Emmy-nominated documentary. We follow three patients through and past their death experience. Uh, this is available free for viewing to the community. You can call 888-247-5701. That's 888-247-5701 to reserve a viewing of Except for Six or to find out more about our that's program. A, that's a toll-free number. And you're located it's a, again? Yep. We're right there on Apple Avenue, right in front of Brookhaven Medical Care Facility. Okay, Tricia, thank you very much thank for you your so time. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I wish you the best, and thank you for being here at the Thank you. Center. It's been wonderful. Here I am in a happy booth because they're, they're handing out popcorn. And this is the popcorn lady, and you are? Carla, middle camp. <laughs> okay. <keepers>. And uh, <laughs> this is not normally what you do? Not normally, but okay. I do a lot of the marketing, so sometimes. Okay, and this lady over here is your boss. It is. <laughs> and you are? I'm Tina Butler with Comfort Keepers. Okay, well, tell us a little bit about it now. Comfort Keepers is a home care provider. Uh, our target market really is to is seniors and with the whole goal of keeping them in the privacy and comfort of their own home. Okay. We do that uh, through a variety of services, anything from light housekeeping to errands, transportation, medication reminders, um, can be uh, some personal care issues, and we also offer private duty nursing as well. Okay, now tell us where you're located. Our office is located in Norton Shores by the airport, but we cover territory as far south as Grand Haven, and we go up far as north as Whitehall and Montague area. Okay. Now, you, then you're a local company then? We are absolutely a local company. Okay. And Comfort Keepers? Comfort Keepers. What's the phone number? Uh, it's 231-759-1590. And the only thing is you won't always find the popcorn lady there doing popcorn. No, but I tell you what, if you make special arrangements, we will make popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Another great vendor here, and I'm with Sherry. And Sherry, who do you represent here? Well, Tom, we are with the uh, Hume Home of Muskegon Assisted Living Facility. We're on the corner of Southern and Lakeshore Drive. And it's, it's been there forever. Well, you know what? A hundred years this year. Very good. <laughs> so we're celebrating our centennial, which is very cool. So we have great things to celebrate. Thomas Hume built the Hume home as a legacy to hopefully keep forever, and that's what we're planning to do. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, and I think one of the things that we have that's special about the Hume home is it feels like a home. When you walk in, it actually has a very welcoming feeling. You feel like it's a home away from home, and that's one of the things that we capitalize on. It's a comfortable feeling inside. It's yes. not like a, a sterile atmosphere, in other words. No, no, no. It's very warm. It's all quarter sawn white oak, beautiful um, wood trim, beautiful staircase, lovely um, dining room facilities. Well, so it's 100 year old. Thomas Hume was from a part of the old lumber baron era, so they used a lot of the local lumber to build that. So they certainly it's got did. a lot of history in there. Yeah, and he didn't scrimp on that wood either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's gorgeous. Actually, our inauguration date is um, May 12th. And we're going to have an open house at the Hume Home. And if you've never been into the Hume Home, it's a beautiful time to come because we'll have a lot of history. There's so many people who have lived there. And um, it's just, it tells a lot about the uh, history of Muskegon as well as you walk through. So we want to get more people in and um, just. Well, it's history in Muskegon, yeah, basically. Experience your own the, history. It was probably the first place in Muskegon they had those facilities offered. So you find a lot of the original names from the Muskegon era have been residents. Absolutely. And it was very strict criteria to get in in the beginning. 
So, oh. and you had to dress for dinner, of course. We have a great little postcard that says, I have everything ready for the Hume home except for my evening dress for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> How neat. And you got, some, I, you got magnificent grounds out there, and you have a yes. gazebo outside. We have five acres, and this year we're actually doing a community garden with the Unitarian Church. It's part of their youth program, so it'll be a great generational, you know, um, okay. effort. Kids and, the, and our residents working together on that garden. We get to keep part of the proceeds. Okay. So that'll be great. But I do want to also say we have a Centennial Ball, which is going to be May 19th. And that is going to take place at the Century Club. And okay. the thing about the Century Club is Thomas Hume and Charles Hackley for sure lunch there every afternoon. What people can do to get in touch with us is, first of all, all the information will be online, which is humehomeassistedliving.org. Okay. Or 730-4511. They can call me, Sherry Slater. Okay. And or you can call the Hume Home, which is 755-1715. Very good. Well, thank you very much and really appreciate it. Something like that is still around the Muskegon area. That's stability. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, thank you, Tom. Yeah, a beautiful building. We want to keep that uh, legacy going, too. Very good. We also have a run and a golf tournament, so okay. other good things happening. Oh, very good. Okay. You're active in the community <laughs> and active for your, for your residents. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Another tough job, and I am with? Michelle Woodring with Christian Care. Okay, and where's that located? Well, we have two facilities. We have the nursing center that's located over on Kenneth and Catawba, and then we have the assisted living, which is Christian Care Senior Care. That's located right behind um, Kmart on Apple Avenue, which is actually on McLaughlin. Yeah, but you access it by Creston, don't Preston, you? Creston, yes. Okay. Okay, yep. and then uh, you have some new projects going on too, I understand. We do. We're very excited to announce that we have broken ground and construction has started on our new nursing center. It is located over on Sheridan, which is in between Evanston and Sherman, and it is going to have, uh, we have 14.5 acres, and they broke ground, and it's in under construction right now, so very exciting. So you're going to have three facilities in? We are not. We're going to be closing down the nursing center that's currently okay. open right now, and then the, all those beds will be moving over to the new nursing center. Okay, we're yep. going to have more room and better yes, facilities. Yes, we're very facility. excited. We are going to have a 21-bed locked dementia unit that will specialize okay. in Alzheimer's, and then we will have then our existing 49 beds of skilled nursing uh, nursing home facility beds will be moving over to that new 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 facility. So, When, when yeah. are we looking for a completion date? Well, because the weather's been so beautiful that uh, they've actually moved the completion date up a little bit, so we're hoping by the end of this year. Oh, that'd be super. Yeah, I know. It's going to be great. And Not all, that you're excited about. I know. <laughs> All the rooms are private, too, so no, nobody will have to share a room with anybody, so it's going to be beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how does people contact you if they want to get a hold of your well, organization? Well, um, if they're interested in the nursing center or in the assisted living, they can call me, and I am uh, at 777-3494, uh, and I am extension 27, and uh, I can get them any information that they need to be either added to the waiting list or any information for current admission. Well, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. And Thank you. And appreciate you being here at the household. Thanks. It's great.